Thank you very much. I think exactly the challenges are then making a little bit the spices of our jobs. No? Then we, it's getting yeah. a little bit more interesting because we have to be a little bit more flexible uh, and we have to adapt to, to, to maintain the, the representational role of protocol. One of the things actually um, which probably not everybody knows, but in, in protocol, we are working a lot with hierarchies as well. We have different criteria and functions and uh, it's always a, a question of, um, of conflict because sometimes you use seniority, sometimes you use the function, sometimes you have to use other criteria, sometimes you use alphabet to equalize the people and so on. So there are more functions in protocol where we try to present our institution in the best possible way. Um, Captain Lucena, I always have the impression that for the military, this is relatively clear. You have ranks, you have hierarchies, uh, and there is no discussion left. Is this correct or am I wrong? It's more or less. It's, uh, you are correct in, in, in a, mili in a exclusively uh, military approach. Yes. You are uh, crystal. You have been crystal. So it's very clear for us. We have hierarchies and uh, in each rank, we have the, the promotion date, so we can uh, rank all the guests, all the military guests by uh, his rank. No doubts about that. Even we can decide if there is a, um, a, a, a draw in seniority, we can decide which one is a senior because we have criteria. So, uh, for instance, the, if there is a draw, we go to the birth uh, uh, to the birth date and uh, so <laughs> it's very curious because the military is <laughs> because we, we 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 must understand everything so it's our approach we have criteria for everything the problem is when we have uh, other entities with us mm -hmm. uh, here in portugal luckily we have a, a, a law of uh, the state protocol list so here in portugal I would say most of the situations are very clear. Although we have to do sometimes the, the ranking with some judgment. And depending on the type of the ceremony, for instance, uh, uh, we have some situations that we might have a military of a rank, uh, a, a mid eye rank, for instance, a colonel or a captain navy like me, which uh, was appointed as, for instance, uh, this can happen in my country, um, as a uh, general director of a directorate in our Ministry of Defense. So, as general director, is senior by precedence than a general or a vice admiral, for instance. So, uh, we have to we have some judgment when we are ranking our guests and we have this kind of situations. Although our state, uh, state uh, uh, list of presidents is very clear. So a general director is higher than a, um, a lieutenant general or a vice admiral. So uh, even the, we, our rules here in Portugal are very clear. Um, in NATO, which was one of the, the organizations I, I, I've been working uh, during one tour, uh, even uh, in NATO, the, the, the rules are very clear regarding protocol. I think um, in the other countries, they have, all, of course, uh, their own rules. So um, I, I would say, as you, as you mentioned, for us, military is very clear because we have the rank and we can decide which one is senior than the other. So uh, no doubts about that. Sometimes we might face some doubts. It's when uh, we are uh, facing the, the exceptions of the law, yeah. you know, because every yeah. law has exceptions. And sometimes it's not easy to disconflict one situation. So once again, we must tackle the situation with judgment. And normally, if the, the, the doubt is very deep and it's, uh, and it's potentially a risk to create some misunderstanding, we must involve the parties. 